Please welcome to the stage. She's got a wicked tongue and I hear she's kind of mean too. Put your hands together for the incredible Bianca Del Rio. Hi, thank you for being here. Oh, How so nice. are you? Oh, this is wild. When you told me it was sold out, you consider 90 people sold out. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you do you, honey. You do you. How here's, are you? Here's the thing. Here's Talk the thing. to me. You set up the number of chairs uh -huh. for the number of tickets that you sell. Mm -hmm. I don't know why more people don't do that. Really? Well, that would make things always sold out, right? Any place you went. But this is not bad. I didn't do any research before I came here, so I have no idea what I'm walking into. But as a gay who uses Grindr, it's typical. And I'm excited. <laughs> Look at all the faggots. Yeah, ass up. It is. How many people here are gay, though? I'm curious. Okay, the gays. Pretty you good. don't even look gay. That's crazy. Not you, the faggot in front of you. You don't look gay at all. This is like totally corporate gay. Are you like a corporate gay? Yes, you. Yeah, do you have money? You must have money. You don't spend money on shampoo. Look at you, you bald bitch. I'm sorry, you can't say bald. You have to say follically challenged individual. That's the labels. How are you, Mr. Lovett? Uh, listen. I'm great. This is so fun to have it's you. It's good to see you. Yeah, I know. I figured I would just hang back. As so, you yeah. should. So, you're going on tour. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to start touring, actually. And your tour is called Dead Inside. Dead Inside, yes. And that's just something you say to kind of hide the vulnerability that must be inside, right? No, not at all. It just you're not explains vulnerable my at all. face. I mean, I look like uh, a corpse. So, I just say Dead Inside because it's basically the best way to package who I am. You know, because now drag is exploding and everybody's a fucking drag. Drag queens have fallen out of the fucking trees at this point. <laughs> Truly, everywhere you fucking look is some fucking faggot in a wig saying, Drag saved my life. <laughs> And you go, fuck you! If you're faced with the option between drag and suicide, pick suicide and hang in there! <laughs> Look at the straight people. Hee hee hee. But yeah, no, so Dead Inside is just the, the, the term that I use to, or, or title that I chose, because I wanted to call it Salty Bitch, and we couldn't use that because it said bitch you can't have in the title, uh, because it wouldn't, it wouldn't work on Instagram or any publicity moments. <gasps> so that's why we went with Dead Inside. Oh. I have a list of hateful shit, yeah. <laughs> but you have a tender artist soul in there. Yeah, it depends on the day, how much money you got. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I can be nice when, it ha when I need to, but the point is when you have an audience, the last thing I want to do is be nice, you know? And that's what people want. Because now we're in a world, you know, where everybody's so PC, or everybody thinks that certain people are really, really funny because they're pretty, Matt Reif, that it's that type of, <laughs> and let's be real, let's be real, she ain't pretty. If you look at her head on, she looks like fucking Angela Lansbury. Tell me I'm wrong! And in a good dark light, Paul McCartney, who now looks like Angel Lansbury, but nonetheless. Honestly, as far as I'm concerned, you're talking about three hot people. But yeah, the, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you getting a boner? Are you getting a boner? Yeah, yeah why not? Yeah. But, but so here, I actually want to ask you about this. Because Talk I to me. Because I have, like, on the one hand, I feel like there's this whole kind of like, there's all these, like, uh, you know, your kind of Chappelle's and your Gervaises that are sort of like, oh, you can't say anything anymore. And then they say yeah. what they want to say. And they seems like they can say it. And, yeah. they, you know, they're they sort of like anti-trans and they kind of build an anti-woke thing. And then on the other end, like, I've seen you uh, kind of get confronted by people who say you're offensive. Yes. Right? And you think audiences are too sensitive. No, I don't. I'm not one of those that complain about the people, you know, because I think that if you're trying to be mainstream, which I think is a lot of people's problems, because you're not going to appeal to everybody. Some people go, I don't like it, I'm not interested, or they can look at you and say, you're not my cup of tea. So my thing is that quit trying to appeal to the masses. If you fucking funny, people will gravitate to you, and that's your fucking audience. Entertain those people instead of trying to make everybody likable. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you're talking, I mean, you're talking about Gervais, who is brilliant, and, you know, so is uh, what's Chappelle. His name? Chappelle, in, in their own way but they say shit on occasion but they're also millionaires who are out of fucking touch so who the fuck cares they're still gonna catch their money yeah. it doesn't you know what I mean it doesn't matter so they, they live in their lives yeah but like it's the reason I want to ask you about it because it's like I feel like you are somebody that is sort of takes pride in like I'm gonna say whatever I want sure and it, but obviously you're not going around doing you know, anti-trans material. Oh, no, 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 that's different, that's different. Because trans are my people, you know what I mean? Some of my best friends are trans, so that's a different ball of wax, but also, they have the best sense of humor. I think it depends on where you come from and what you're about, you know what I mean? They always say, talk about what you know. So as a gay, I can talk about the spectrum of people that I'm dealing with, you know, and that's, that's what it is. It's like, when you're dealing with, like, the LG, I gotta say this right, the LGBTQ plus A something, girl, I can't, I can't. <laughs> no, seriously. It's too many fucking letters. Even Vanna White goes, what? 
I can't fucking <laughs> figure this out. But it's too many letters. It's like L G P T Q E I E I O. Yeah, Farmer and the Dale. But I, I get, I get concerned about it because all of that is in the news, and it's just a hot topic for these millionaires to discuss it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think they fucking care. They're just talking shit. It's selling. Netflix is liking it. You know what I mean? It's, and it's not a question of it's not funny. It's just not funny to me which is how I consider comedy. You can't say, you can't say that because I don't like it. Well, that's you. And often I get people that say, I'm offended. And I said, you know what happens to people that are offended? They die. <laughs> <laughs> they just die. Don't shoot, they, they die. Just, they just drop they fucking, fucking dead. Die. They drop dead Sooner on the Sooner or fuck. later, Sooner they or die. They die right on the spot Google sometime. me, they die. They die. They die. They die. So you can't worry about that shit. No, you know? Yeah, yeah. You can't. Do people, do you have people like that are, that are like still, you know, walking out, getting mad? Oh, they never yelling. walk out. No, I mean, well, that I can see, that I can see, like in the game. Now, there was times before um, I was doing bigger venues, like when I was in a club, oh, that happened all the fucking time. You know, sometimes it'd be two people, sometimes it'd be 10 people. And then, you know, you're there every week doing the same gig on Monday night at 1 a.m. And some of the people are assholes and you start reading them and they're like, Bianca, we're your friends and we were here last week. And you realize... <laughs> Yeah, but it still works. You're still a cunt. But all of that <laughs> was just kind of the packaging for it. So they would walk out. But overall now, I mean, have you ever walked out of a show? I've never walked out of a show because I think even if it's a bad show, I then have a great story to tell later. Do you know what I mean? I've walked out of one show in my whole life. What show? It was Ray Fiennes doing a three-hour Henrik Ibsen play in... In London, and okay, I was first like, first of all, start three hours. Three I, that, hours. That's why I was like, life, the fuck were you life is too short, and I am not, I am not smart or cultured or pretentious three enough hours. to sit through this fucking. At the intermission, we we I developed a saying. Uh, I, I at the time I remember they were saying that um uh, uh no one is watching. In yeah. other words, we can leave. Yeah. And no one's gonna get in trouble. You can walk out. We yes. can just walk out. You can walk. No your one's money. watching. Walk on. We can out. get out. Grab Life your coat, is short. Leave. Three three hours. It was oh, you know what it might not have been? It was called Brand. It was a three hour introspective adaptation of a play about a man struggling with his Christian faith. I don't know what the fuck. How did we get suckered into thinking that was gonna well, be a good What the fuck made you think I need a ticket to that? I, I, <laughs> I don't know, maybe. As a faggot, I'm upset with you. I think maybe because I had recently seen The English Patient. Oh, okay. So you were in on that kick. Yeah, I get it. I get it. No, I couldn't imagine sitting anywhere for three hours besides the DMV post office or the airport. That's where, I mean, that's a fucking show. How many people sit at the fucking airport? I do it all the time. I sit at the airport and watch them walk past me and I go, where the fuck's she going? <laughs> she should have checked that bag. It's going to be a problem. Yeah. He bought that hooker, didn't he? Yeah. You know how it is. I know how it is. Yeah. Now, have you ever bought a hooker? Uh, I haven't had the occasion. You've never bought a hooker. Have you ever, like, paid for sex? Um, no, I would pay to not have sex a lot of the time. What is wrong with you? This show is very, this show is, uh, has a philosophy of being body positive. It's okay, sex listen, negative. I haven't done any fucking research, <laughs> and I don't want to hear your fucking spiel, because I feel like I'm listening to Ralph no Fiennes for three fucking hours. So let's... What, have you ever played what for a... What is all this? I'm not trying to touch you. What is this going on? I'm just sitting. I'm just sitting. I didn't think you were. It's like you're all of a sudden thinking, I'm 13 and Bianca's a priest. You're safe, bitch. <laughs> Even if I was a pedophile, I still have preferences and taste, goddammit. <laughs> I'm offended. As you should be. As now, you should be. Uh, it's time for a game we're calling Meaner Girls. Mm. Here's how it works. I'm going to give you a nice topic. Okay. You'll have to tear it to pieces. Okay. But in the interest of creating balance in the universe, I'll also need you to say something sweet about a genuinely nasty piece of work. Oh, fuck off. All right. Okay, so I got to say something mean about something nice and something nice about something. So, uh, yes, here's right. a nice thing to be nasty about. Am I looking here or am I looking behind me? Both are the same. I was told not to look behind me. Yeah, you can look right there. I've been it's to prison. All... Don't look behind you. <laughs> Actually, when I went to prison, when mm -hmm. I dropped the soap, I dropped powdered soap because it took longer to pick up. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Look at the straight Meryl's people. Ah! Ah! Fuck you. You're the one watching a drag queen tonight. Hit it. Let's go. Meryl Streep and Martin Short are reportedly dating. I've got to say something nice. No, you have to say something nasty. Oh, something nasty. Oh, oh it's hard to say something nasty about That's Meryl Streep. But fuck. Ooh. <laughs> ah! 
Okay. <laughs> 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 no, it's hard. Wow. Wow. No. So tough when you're making fun of fucking nobodies. No. Now but it's time to make no. fun of Meryl Streep and you pull up a blank. Bianca Del Rio I, listen, can't do it. You've listen. met your match. You're afraid you know, to talk the great Meryl Streep of Pasadena. You know can't what? Can't do it. I'm going to say one thing. She Devil wasn't good. All right, listen. She listen. Devil. I, it wasn't my favorite. Did you like it? I feel like that was a kind of um, an important, it's a terrible film. Yes. But it's also a, it's a gay text. Uh-huh. You know the movie? No, they don't know the movie. No, they don't. See, that's how old but we I are. But I remember yes, She yes. Devil. You remember She Devil. Oh, yes, yeah. exactly. When with, Roseanne um, was actually fucking normal. And the guy with the electric cars. Yes, Different times, different times. Okay, back to this. Okay, they, they're dating? Maybe, probably not. No, wait a minute. Okay, <laughs> it's all a, right. It's gossip. I've got to say something nasty. Fuck, 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 fuck. All right, I got. Uh, mm, I ah. Uh, okay, because he he used to do that character Glick, right? Jimmy Glick. Jimmy Glick. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay. Mm, okay. Mar- <laughs> wow. Well, wow. Well, I'm just thinking like the only It's not thing- like Postcards on the Edge was good. No. Oh, fuck <laughs> off, you faggot. Of course that was good. Just trying something. No, that was good because it was written by Carrie Fisher. Okay, so let's talk. All right, Meryl. Meryl, I don't... Mm, she's got statues that are probably bigger than this fucker that she's having <laughs> sex with. That's good. There we she's go. She's got multiple. You don't need Martin Short. Sit on the fucking Oscar, you bitch. Feel the fantasy. And if that's not enough, throw in one of the 38 fuckers Golden Globes. Beautiful. And you Beautiful. know what's funny? I was I heard that that same quote was from Glenn Close as well, who hates her. <laughs> yeah. Next one. All right. Now you have to say something. Uh, na- say something nice about a. Uh, this is called mouth pad. It's a new device that attaches to the roof of your mouth and allows you to scroll with your tongue. So you can use your mouth as a mouse. Oh, I gotta say something nice. Nice. Yeah. You think you're interested in that? You think okay. that's good? This is an amazing toy for lesbians. <laughs> Or any dinosaurs called Lickalotopus? I. This is this is amazing. I mean, who's got time for fingers? <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Hawking would love it. <laughs> <laughs> Roger Ebert. Oh. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Wow. Well, Stephen Hawking. Roger Ebert would laugh at that joke. He would say, "Oh my God, it's so funny. My face fell off." Okay, what? <laughs> what? What? You? That's history. It is. It is. Google it. Google it. Stephen Hawking, there's a photo of him that's been circulating because he was on Epstein's Island. <laughs> <laughs> let's be fair. Does he really know where he is? Yeah. But let's say, yeah. well, the one good thing, well, if he was there, the one good thing about Epstein Island, it's obviously handicap available <laughs> and there's ramps everywhere. There's some sort of, there's some sort of, there's some sort of, there's something you could say about how um, he was like uh, Schrodinger's cat <laughs> in the sense that he was both on and not on Epstein's Island at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> but I never really cracked it. I haven't cracked it. All right, now you have to say something nice. Or n- no, now you have to say something nasty about Paul Giamatti celebrating his Golden Globe win at in and out Yeah, that's right. They love it. Well, you know, the, you know what the most fucked up thing is that he won a Golden Globe. That's the fucking worst thing. Listen, this is what all celebrities do. Look, he's sit- oh, I got to say something nice. No, mean. Mean, mean. Fuck him. I mean, that's all I can say. He's like, what? What the fuck, girl? I mean, look, you know, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Here he is, an established Hollywood actor, living mm-hmm. his life, thinking he's all fucking fancy. But the length he has to go to get attention is to go into In and Out with his fucking trophy. I mean, the desperation to get attention as I sit here in a wig. The fact that he can't be himself as I'm sitting here wearing a wig is really fucking pathetic. I, I do think you've made an important point, which I hadn't clocked, which is what? the globe on the table. Exactly. It says, it says, pick me. Well, the only good thing, and we're going to find out later that that's in and out salt shaker. Wouldn't that be fucking fierce? Also, uh, in and out sucks. I mean, sucks. seriously, people in Hollywood. What? I said in and out sucks. <gasps> wait, it sucks. Wait. It sucks. Wait. It simply sucks. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, there's a. How do I know? What, what is this like something that goes on often? Well, no, they just I think as a rule in sort of Southern California, if you say in and out sucks, it gets a kind of reaction. Really? So you get the reaction because people agree with you or you get the reaction because people don't? I think that's some, who agrees? Who disagrees? And you people know that I've had French fries at other places. You know what a good French fries like, right? You know that you can go to that, that they don't they don't come out like kind of, I don't know, like 
kind of loose, soft, gray logs. Are we talking about fries or stool? I, I, I mean, like that. <laughs> I feel like I'm in that play you watched. <laughs> You bitch. All right, say something uh, nice Ugh. about uh, the door plug that blew out on that Alaska's Airlines flight <laughs> from Oregon. <laughs> say something nice about that. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, ooh, I'm going <laughs> to... All right. So a chunk of Alaska airline <laughs> found in the backyard. All right, so I, listen, listen. On occasion, on occasion, you've been on a plane where you're there and you're thinking, you know what, I want a window seat. Mm -hmm. And then you find out, can I sit with my husband? Can I sit, you do that. And it's the one time that you're in the aisle seat and you go, Mm-hmm, this is a good flight. <laughs> Take them fuckers out. Listen, that is free air. Listen, those little vents don't give you much. They don't it's give you much. It's pretty good. And think of it, you get to your destination before your luggage. What a treat that is. <laughs> I say, who needs salted peanuts when you can get assaulted yourself? You know, uh, it's what it is. And by the way, everyone, everyone made it. Yes. What a story. What yeah. a story. Imagine the only, like, everyone was like, oh, it was a good thing nobody was in that window seat. But if their seat was buckled, what an adventure. That what an adventure. Fierce. Could you imagine just like, you've never experienced that. Floor to ceiling windows in an airplane. Think about that. It's loft style. I mean, I've done crystal meth and never felt that rush. You know, that is. <laughs> I don't do it now because I like teeth. But yeah. Bianca, where can people find out about the tour? Oh, you can find out the tour on my site, which is uh, thebiancadelrio.com. I start uh, in two, three weeks, I believe it is. Three weeks. And I start in San Diego, and then I go all over America and Canada for the first chunk of it, so it's 60 dates. 60 dates. Around. Yeah, that's just the beginning, faggot. Just the beginning, faggot. We're continuing. Yes! I, I last till 2025. I'll be schlepping around the world. Yeah, so it's all good. Wow. Yeah. So... It is what it is. You gotta go. I gotta spread my hate to the masses. You know what I mean? I, I can't leave it to the Catholic Church, honey. I gotta go to the people. Everybody, give it up for Bianca Del Rio. Thank you.